Hello, Twin Flames. This is Karen. Thank you for joining me on my channel here, Man of Delight. And um, I also have another channel, Twin Souls Network, that is up and running. Twin Souls Network page and a Twin Souls Network group that has chat and that in it. I leave the information below if you'd be interested in joining with us. We have over 150 members now and it's growing and it's a wonderful place for twins to come and find help and guidance and support and just connect with other twins. Um, I promised you another reading midweek regarding the Divine Masculine. And so I want to do that with the energies that are coming up, the intense energies that we will have this weekend with the moon. So I wanted to do that. And I, of course, have called in my team, my guides, the angels, the ascended masters, divine source to come in and assist giving us some guidance regarding the Divine Masculine. Help me with the messages, Father. I'm going to pull four cards for them. I will pull clarifiers if need be. And then we always talk to the angels. Oh, we always take a look at the bottom of the deck, and that is the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is rest. Ah. Uh, Quiet time, retreat, social withdrawal. Um, that could be the overall energy for the Divine Masculine at this, this weekend coming up, um, which it could very well be um, with the intense energies that are going to be playing out um, and coming in. They could withdraw. Just some quiet time. Four cards, and we have the Hanged Man. We have the Page of Wands. Haha, <laughs> we have the Four of Wands. And we have the Lovers. Oh my goodness. Wonderful cards. Wonderful cards. Okay, let's start off with number one, and that is the Hanged Man. And the hanged man is suspended. He's in a period of waiting. Um, however, he is um, through this waiting period, there is growth that's happening. Um, he's suspended for for some reason. Um, And becoming enlightened, you know, that's what the, the hanged man always signifies to me, is that um, he's becoming enlightened. And he's in a, pay, and he's in a, in a state of, a place of just being suspended, just, just waiting, just growing, though. And there's... There's um, sacrifices that he is making. There's um, moves and work that he's doing while he's in this waiting period um, to become enlightened. So this is a stage of growth for the Divine Masculine. Awesome place for the Divine Masculine to be in. Second card that we have for them is the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands means communication. It's good news. So through this enlightenment for the Divine Masculine, 
there's going to be some communication. They're going to come to some knowledge and see something through this growth period and they're going to want to communicate. And what are they going to want to communicate about? Harmony and bliss and family and you see the little family down there below domestic happiness contentment freedom this is a wonderful card this is like you know this is like we're becoming a family and we're, and we're celebrating that we're that we're now a family um so that's what the communication is going to be in regards to. Maybe there are some things that need to be worked out. Um, maybe there's distance between you. Um, maybe there are um, still karmic partners that are still in the way. And that needs to be worked out. Um, and so there needs to be communication about how do we achieve this happy home? How do we make this happen? And the reason why we want to make this happen is because we are the lovers. And the lovers, as you know, is a major arcana, and this does signify a divine partnership. It is what we're all aspiring to come to. It's Twin Flames. This is the card of Twin Flames. Um, this is a twin flame relationship. Um, this is what this signifies. And so, that's what, that's the reason for this communication. That, that's the reason for this enlightenment. This is the reason for this path. This is the divine outcome. Is the lover's. And the Divine Masculine is coming to that knowledge. They are becoming enlightened. They're ready to communicate. They're ready to be a family. They want this domestic happiness. They want this. They've come to the knowledge that this is the path that they want. This is what they want. The bliss is what they want. The happy home is what they want. They've come to that knowledge. They've become enlightened. And the outcome is the lovers. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so thrilled I decided to do this spread for the Divine Masculine. Spirit told me on Sunday when I did the weekly reading to do one in the middle of the week for the Divine Masculine just their energies, and then I knew that we were having some intense moon energies this weekend, so I really wanted to do this. So, it completely ties in 100% with everything. I'm laying them out just like they're supposed to be. The overall energy also for the masculine is a state of rest and retreat, and they are retreating, becoming enlightened, to communicate about a happy home for the overall outcome of the lovers. How perfect. All right, and because I always do, and because I've told them numerous times I'd never leave them out, I will pull some Archangel cards. Score! Twinnies? What a great reading! I love that. That's amazing. It's wonderful. That's coming out. Oh my, that did not. I tossed those out. All right, give me a couple more for everybody. They're excited. I'm excited. Goodness, that's a great reading. That's wonderful. I feel like there's going to be some major shifts this weekend. Um major shifts and I've spoken to some other twin flames and they're feeling the excitement as well 
So let me get this reading out there on the books. Yes. Give me two more. That's three. I need two more, please. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? All right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Number one, the big guy. You are safe. And this came out, I pulled cards on Monday and posted them on Twin Souls Network. You are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. We're being protected. We're safe. The universe, as I've said before, is all standing up at attention and helping the twin flames. And Archangel Michael is doing his job to protect us against lower energies. And we need to put our worries aside. Peace. Archangel Shamuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. And this card is asking you to look past the fear and the illusion of fear. And to remember that love is real. Only love is real. The rest of this is an illusion, and from that will come peace. Crystal Clear Intentions, another Archangel Michael card. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So I feel like this is calling us to restore our faith, um, to speak about it, to focus upon it by simply stating and knowing I'm safe, only love is real, by being crystal clear about it. You know, I'm safe, all is well, um, only love is real, this fear is an illusion, and sticking to that and knowing that love is, love is real. And that the universe has got our back. Clearly, the masculine is working towards the wonderful lovers. The goal. And we have all the backing that we need. And we just need to say it and know it and speak with unwavering faith that all is well, only love is real, and accepting, accepting that and knowing that and feeling the peace of God during this tumultuous time. Um, I feel like the energies are going to be super intense and... Um, so while you're going on, while this is happening, because it is going to be, I feel like it's going to be tumultuous. I feel like it's going to be kind of all over the place. Um, know that you're safe, okay? Know, with crystal clear intentions, that you are safe, that love, only love is real, and embrace the peace of it to get you through it this tumultuous time. It may feel like, you know, that the divine masculine has retreated. Okay? But they're becoming enlightened. And there will be some good communication that comes out of that and out of this period of time. What more can I say? What more can I say? You see me deal them, kids. <laughs> It, this is a wonderful reading. I'm so thrilled that I did it. Um, if you're struggling with standing in your power 
And if you're struggling with fear or anything like that, I highly, highly recommend that you get one of my light languages. Um, the power one down below. If you um, feel like you've closed your heart off or you just need to feel loved, then I suggest that you get the uh, love language, uh, light language down below. I've made them super cheap so everyone can um, take advantage of them. Both of them are extremely powerful. I've gotten um, nothing but good reports back from both of them. Um, the power one opens your solar plexus where you stand in your power. Uh, but it did open and activate someone else's third eye. Um, so it's just a powerful language. And the other one is to help open your higher heart. It's a higher heart activation. And it does increase you feeling love. Um, and love towards your twin. Love towards yourself. And love towards others. So they're both extremely powerful. Um, I would suggest that you get those. Um... If you'd like a personal reading, email me down below. I still am doing channelings, and I am now offering one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, and that information is down below. Um, check out Twin Souls Network on YouTube and subscribe to that channel. Those videos are coming very soon. Um, also, um, if you'd like to, add me on Facebook, and I will add you to the Twin Souls Network group page where we have some lovely things going on. There are exclusive offers in there, uh, special events for just the members. Um, and yes, so this this turned out fabulously. Um, if you need just an ear to hear, go ahead and shoot me a message. Um, email me at manadelight at yahoo.com. I'll leave all the information below. Many blessings and namaste.